Hi, today I want to show you how to use the Eclipse IDE and also implement all the Arduino code and libraries and examples to use with the ESP32. And the goal of the video is show how to use the very powerful Eclipse IDE with most of the Arduino examples so we can use all of the Arduino power inside the Eclipse IDE. So let's open the Arduino IDE and go through an example. So in this case, I want to use the NeoPixel or the WS2812 LEDs to steer some kind of RGB lights. And I search for a library in the library manager for the ESP32. And as an example, I want to use this library from Makuna. And if we don't have it installed already, we can install it with the library manager. And then we take some of the examples that came with this library and just look at the code. And we go to the steps that's needed to use this example without major changes in our Eclipse IDE. And I've done a small template to use an Arduino code, so it's easier to start. So the first step would be copy the template for into a suitable path. And next we clone the Arduino ESP libraries to this new template path. Then we copy the needed Arduino libraries that we use from the Arduino library manager, or we can also clone this from maybe GitHub or whatever source the library can be found. Then we have to edit the component make file. In some cases it's not needed, but for the most cases this step would be needed. So you have to edit the component make file to use the library. Then we import the example to Eclipse with import make file project. The next step would be to tell Eclipse to use all the path where you can find the ESP components and so on. And this is also prepared in this example template. Then the next path is to create some make targets for the Eclipse IDE and then we can compile and flash and monitor and so on. So now let's start and copy our template to a new folder and we rename this folder so the name fits to our example. Now let's change to the components folder. Then we clone the ESP32 Arduino library and we just open the readme file and copy the code from the readme file and wait for the download of the GitHub clone. So this may take a while, but we only need to do this once. So for the next example, we can just copy the whole folder. And the next step is to copy all the libraries. So I only use one library and I use this as links, this new pixel library as an example and clone it directly from GitHub. So you maybe can also copy it from the Arduino library folder, but I want to do a fresh start. Now we copy the component mk file from the template and we open it in an editor and see if all our source files are in the edit include directories and also in the source directories. And if so, then we are ready to do the Eclipse part of this example. And we just start our Eclipse IDE. So let's create a new project from Makefile project. And we just click on browse and search for our new example folder. Now we go to the Projects Explorer tree view and search for our new Makefile project and just open maybe the main C++ template file. And as you see, there's only one line and the line is just the 
include for the Arduino library. Now we click on the project entry in the tree view and click the right button, open the properties and change to C, C++ general and then to path and symbols and we just import our prepared template include file so that we have already all the libraries we needed for the Eclipse IDE. So we open this prepared include XML file and just click finish. And all we now do is switch to our Arduino IDE and copy and paste the whole Arduino example into our make C++ template file. The next step would be to prepare the make targets for the make file and I start by creating a new make target for all and I want to use the parallel compiling so I also include the switch minus j and I use eight parallel processes to do the compiling. And I also include a new make target for clean. So sometimes I have to clean all the sources and it's nice to have the clean target. Next step would be to include the menu config target. And for this, we also have to open a new terminal. So I also include the GNOME terminal minus X into the make target, but that have to be changed if, the, if you use another operation system. And we do the same for make flash and also for make monitor. And now let's prepare our new compile with Eclipse IDE by opening the make menu make target. And as you see, it's opened a new terminal window and we can go to the whole configuration of our project example. And the main important point is that we look into the component configuration and, and there's a new entry called Arduino configuration and I just use the auto start Arduino setup and loop functionality today. So it's easier to copy and paste all the Arduino example files. And now let's the next make target called make all and this builds all the needed components and source files for our firmware and then if our firmware is ready and compiled then we can flash it to our ESP32. But certainly we have to look if our make file produce any errors but in this case we are ready to flash and open the next make target the make target flash and we flash the firmware to our ESP32. And the last step for today is similar to open the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE and for this purpose we have prepared the make target monitor and we just click the make monitor entry and see that we open a new terminal window and see the same as we use the serial monitor inside the Arduino IDE. This is all the debug information that goes out to the serial port of the ESP32. And today also a sponsored ESP32 giveaway from analoglamp.com and I'm happy that I receive the information that the first winners already received their giveaway. Just read the terms and condition and write some comments and you are part of the giveaway. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoy the video and maybe learn something. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.